you're going to kind of follow the exact same kind of pro Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. This was supposed to be a negative. Sorry. So the reason why I wanted to make this negative is because we got to understand positive goes in this direction, negative goes in that direction. So if we have something negative, we got to understand we're going to start going cl clockwise. All right. Now again, kind of following through our understanding here, if we know this is 90 degrees, then we know that a straight angle adds up to 180. And then we're just adding another 90 degrees here, which would be 270. And then what we talked about here is, you know, add another half angle, we add up to 360. But so we're not all the way around. We're at 300, right? So here's, if we're saying from here to here is 270, I'm just adding an extra 30 degrees. So I'm just going to estimate it's going to be something right around in there, right? I don't really need all of this stuff that I created. OK, but the angle starts here and then ends there. So just make sure you guys understand the difference between the negative and the positive. The direction matters. We're always starting at our initial side, which is the positive x-axis, and then we're ending at our terminal side. OK? So now, moving up to uh, bearings.